Joel chapter 2 verse 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel God said you want to know that I'm in the midst of Israel because I only made this happen to the children of Israel he said you're going to know that I'm in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God I'm the Lord your God you black, Hispanic, and Native Indians and none else what do you say? and none else he said I'm the Lord your God and nobody else that's why they ain't get punished like this. They in rulership. They own everything. God gave them the dominion on earth during this time while he punished us for breaking his commands. This is why we're going through what we're going through. This is our punishment. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, violent, violent, violent movement. IUIC. The day to wake up is now. Right. We cannot wait and put it off until tomorrow. Right. The Lord might kill you after you hear this message today. You might die tomorrow thinking, you know what? What I heard was good yesterday. Give me about two more months or three more months, Lord. I'm going to change myself. No. You got to make haste and change now. Read. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Yeah. And that knowing the time. God says in that knowing the time. You see bombs being shot in Gaza? You see Gaza shooting back at Israel? You know that's recorded in the Bible? Bring it up. Did you know that that's recorded in the Bible? Bring it up. Oh, we can read it. If you want me to, we're going to read it. Stay right here. Don't you know that the war that's taking place on the earth right now between Israel and Gaza, all of these other nations battling each other is recorded in the Bible? But your Christian pastor can't tell you that because he don't read the book of Revelation. He don't read on the book of Joel. Right. What he does is he give you once two scriptures, a shuck and a child, and they play that music. Got the whole church spinning around in circles, foaming out the mouth, throw a sheet on you. And then he passed the collection plate around. Mm -hmm. And people put the money in there. Wake him up. And then they leave church. And you say, well, damn, what did you learn in church today? I don't know. But I so felt good. But out. you still in sin, bro. Right, right. But you still gonna die if that sky crack right now. Right. Because you don't know your pastor isn't telling you what you must do to get yourself right before right. Jesus Christ goes back. And he is coming back. Right. Did this happen right. to us? Did slavery happen? Did we read it out of the Bible as a prophecy that would happen? Did we read it? Yes, we did. Guess what else we gonna read? We're gonna read that Christ is coming to redeem and return to this earth to redeem his people. That's right. That is why he died. That's why he came to the earth and died for the nation of Israel. I don't know what I had you holding. Go to Luke chapter 1. Yes, sir. He came to the earth to die for our sins so that we would have a second chance at owning the kingdom of heaven, at entering into the kingdom of heaven. Watch this. Read. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Yes. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, blessed be the Lord God of the white man. Of Israel. Of the whole world. Of Israel. The God of this Bible is only the, is only the God for Israel. Yes. We are the only people that got a God. Guess what? They don't have a God. Right. Are you mad? Right. Are you mad because God, come in that hold that, give me Joel. Are you mad because they don't have a God? Ooh. Why would you be mad? You mad that they did this to you? Right. But a people that has a heart, that has a God, that has any type of sense of morality do this to another people? Hell yeah. no. I'm gonna show you in the Bible. These ain't my words, read. Joel chapter two, verse 27. Yeah. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God said, you wanna know that I'm in the midst of Israel because I only made this happen to the children of Israel. He said, you wanna know that I'm in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord.
Lord, your God, you black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, and none else. What did he say? And none else. He said, I'm the Lord, your God, and nobody else. Right. That's why they ain't get punished like this. They in rulership. They own everything. God gave them the dominion on earth during this time while he punished us for breaking his commands. Wait, come right. up. This is why we're going through what we're going through. This is our punishment. Just like if you got a kid and he disobeys you, you're going to punish him. You're going to whoop that ass. That's what you're going to do. This is our ass whooping from God. We're getting our behinds kicked all over the earth. You don't see them going into a hair store getting drug out and shot down. You don't see them going on Pride River or the young man Cyrus going on Pride River to come, went in the store, walk out with nothing, didn't steal anything, and get shot in the back by the other nations and nothing happened to them. Bring up. You don't see uh, uh, Bri uh, Bri uh, the Breonna Taylors happening in their neighborhood. You don't see the Trayvon Martins happening in their neighborhood. Wake you don't up. see the Freddie Gray happening in their neighborhoods. Right. You only see those examples in your neighborhood. Right. Why? Why? Why is that only happening to us? Why don't it happen to the Arab? Why don't it happen to the Chinese? Why don't it happen to the white man? Why does it only happen to us? Give me that in Amos. Read. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. On. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Well, I'll be darned. It's talking about the children of Israel again. Again, it's talking about this. Why? Read what it say. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. What you got to come to grips and understand is this Bible is only for the children of Israel. Right. It's not for the whole world. Though the white man said, you know what? Let's mass produce the book and put it in churches and spread it all over the earth. That way everybody think the Bible is for everybody. Well, the day of the Geechee is over and we can read now, damn it. Right. We can read now. And not only can we read, the Lord has given us the spirit of understanding to go within the hardest King James Version of the Bible and interpret it with the wisdom of God. Right. Right. Yo, Christian, Pat, you don't got more, more scriptures today than you got in your whole life going to church. And we ain't done yet. Go back to what Joel. No, go back to uh, what I had you holding. Luke, read that. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Why did Christ come and die? Did he come and die for the whole world? Did he die for the whole world? That's what they tell you though. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Okay, what verse 14 say? Why the, why, how come everybody know what John 3, 16 say, but you don't know what 15 say? Damn, it, 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 he read it right before that. You don't know what 14 say? You don't know what one, how you get to 16 and you ain't even read verse one? How? You can tell me about John 3, 16, but you can't tell me about John, Three, verse one. That don't make no sense. Wake them That's up. how they oh. trick you. That's how they keep you oppressed and suppressed under the doctrine of the white man. That's right. Read what you got. Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Bless be the Lord God of Israel. Here you go again. In Amos we read Israel. Don't you go in the way, Jay. In, in, in Amos we read Israel. In Joel we read Israel. In Luke we read Israel. In Deuteronomy we read Israel. The whole Bible is talking about Israel. Right. Bless be the Lord God of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are Israel. You are not black. Right. My damn boots and pants are black. Right. You are not a porch monkey. You are gods on the earth. That's you are right. princesses on the earth. Right. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Come on. For he have visited and redeemed his people. You see how possessive that is? Are those your shoes or mine? So I can't have, I, 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 if I take those shoes from you, right? If I take them from you and I take them and put them, take them to my house, are they your shoes or mine? They still belong to you, right? He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Meaning, I don't care how you change our name. You can call me black. You can call me porch monkey. Right. You can call me a thug. Right. You can call me a terrorist. I don't care what you call me. I'm still God's chosen son. That's right. Yeah, you can't take that from me. Right. Right. Blessed be the God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Come on. And have raised up in horn of salvation. That horn of salvation is Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. right. Read. For us in the house of his servant, David. You see how possessive it is? He says his, us, his servant, David. Come on. As he has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets, Come on. which have been since the world began. Meaning all of the prophets before Christ came to tell us about this good news. This good news 
is that yes, we have sinned against our God. Right. But Christ is coming to be the propitiation between us and the kingdom of heaven. Right. Right. The most our God was done with us. It's only through Jesus Christ that we so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are being brought back into the fold of the nation of Israel. Right. His death is what gives us the right to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. It says that we should be saved, should be saved from our enemies. Are we saved today? Who, who out here is saved? Raise your hand if you're saved. If you say it and sanctify it in the Holy Ghost, raise your hand. That is a lie, Jay. Nobody is saved. Because Christ ain't come back yet. Right. You can only be saved when the Messiah returns. Right. He ain't coming. That's what they taught us in church. This is what this is the philosophy that they've given us in church and in the doctrine of Christianity. That you can be saved if you say the sinner's prayer. That is a lie. And it's not recorded in the Bible. It is made up. You cannot be saved. You know what happened? If you're saved, that means no harm can come to you, right? If you're saved, that means that no bloodshed can happen to you. Nothing can happen to you if you're under the if you're under the banner of Jesus Christ, right? Guess what? If somebody robbed a bank right now, died around the corner, and they get and the, and the people at the bank gave the description. He got dreads with a little bit of red in it. He's wearing a shirt that says "My Hero." What that say? Arcadema? Academia. Academia. And he got on red and black shoes. What if it don't? What if it's not you? What if you're just walking down the street, but the real criminal, he got away in the getaway car and he gone, but you just happen to be walking past the bank. They jump out on you and draw down on you, like they did Trayvon Martin. They draw down on you and tell you to put your hands up. You put your hands up, but before you put your hands up, you make this motion, and they bop, 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 shoot you down in the street. Were you saved? Wake up, were, up. Were, you, were you saved? Hell no, you wasn't saved. That's right. Right. That is the truth of the matter. Right. The truth of the matter is, when we are saved, we are in rulership. Right. When we are saved, we're in the kingdom of heaven that's going to be set up on earth. Right. That's what you right. say. When you ain't got to pay taxes no more. You pay taxes? Give me that in uh, Baruch. No, no, no. I want that. I want the one in, 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 in uh, Matthew. I think it's Matthew. Somebody find it for me. It says, then our, says then our children are free. 17. Matthew 17. I'm going to show you something about rulership and being saved. Ain't nobody saved. Ain't nobody saved. As long as they got rulership on the earth, you still oppressed. As long as they still in their high seats that your forefathers built for them in slavery, you still oppressed. And you best get that through your head. This is not a race campaign. This is about the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is, is that we are the children of Israel, right. God's chosen people. Right. Christ died for us and only us. And it's only us that's gonna get salvation and rulership. That's, right. that's what the Bible say. Now. This is how you know when you're free. Read. Bring it up. Matthew chapter 17, verse 24. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute, money came to Peter and said, Doth not your master pay tribute? So they asked, they say, Don't Christ, do Christ pay tribute? Don't your master pay tribute? Guess what? When you're in captivity, when you're a slave, guess what you gotta do? You guys gonna pay taxes. That's right. On every dollar you spend. They say, Does not your master pay tribute? Watch what he said. He said yes. He said yeah. Yeah, he paid taxes. Come on. Hell, he paid the taxes of the apostles. Read. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? He says, Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Now that might be a hard saying. This is how you know we got to understand it. Who are the kings of the earth? Read up. What is this talking about? I'm going to read it again so you can understand. What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Who do the kings of the earth in America today take custom or tribute from? They take it from us. Right. You are 100% you know. righteous. They take their tribute, which is taxes, and their custom from us. Come on. Of their own children? Do they take it of their own children? No. When, 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 when you're sitting in the seats of the elite, they ain't paying no taxes. Right. You think Donald Trump pay taxes? Come on, man. You think the Rothschilds don't pay taxes? Wake them up. You think the real elite of the earth, you think they're paying taxes? They ain't paying a damn thing. They take they, they tax in your behind. Right. They put the liquor store in your community. Right. And they run the price up. They put these clothes and stuff in our community. Right. We, don't, we don't own the textile. Teach. 
We say we might say I got my own clothing brand, cuz. Yeah, but do you own the textile? Wake up. No, you have to buy that wholesale and then they run the damn taxes up on you and then you gotta try to resell it to make a profit because we're in captivity. That's right. We're still slaves. Right. So the kings of the earth, they take custom and tribute from the people that are over, that are in uh, servitude unto them. Read. Of their own children or of strangers? The strangers are who? Who are the strangers? Us. We're the strangers. Come on. Peter saith unto him, of strangers. Of the strangers. They the ones that they take the custom and the tribute from. From us. Come on. Jesus saith unto him, then are the children free. Then are the children free. The children are free when you don't when you don't pay taxes. You are free when you're in rulership. You are free when you own the land. Right. Do we own the land of America? Hell no. This, ain't even, this, this is not our homeland. Our homeland is way over in Jerusalem. But we ran from Jerusalem into, into Africa, and then they rounded us up in Africa and brought out behind the slavery because we broke God's commandments. Right. That is the that is the whole matter of the story. Right. But we have a chance at repentance. We have a chance to get it right. But we must start applying God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Here's a law that we must apply. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and 5. This one is for the women. All right? Don't run when you hear this. Because it hurts when you get stabbed sometimes, right? It might, you might get a little cut and it hurts. The cut is for your benefit. That's because right. you got repentance. Guess what? The people that did this to you, ain't no repentance for them. Right. They right. can't change that. Right. They gonna get right. judgment for that. Right. But you can repent because Christ died so that you can repent. Right. Watch this, read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse four. Yeah. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Come on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now I wanted to read the whole thing so that we can see that it's not just talking about the woman, it's talking about the man too. It says a woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man, yeah. neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now I'm gonna show you. If he had on a dress right now, if he, if he had, you see how you look? Look at that face, look at, do it again. If he had on a dress, look at him. If he had on a dress, you see that face right now? Yes, sir. How would you look at him? You wouldn't even talk to him to start with, huh? He had a whole, a man got on a whole dress. He looked crazy as hell, right? That is cross-dressing according to God. Right. right. So now, flip the robe. What do you have on that he has on? What do you have on that he has on? Say it. Pants. Here's the thing, sisters. You don't have to be ashamed of that. You should be ashamed of it after you hear this gospel and don't change it. I'm going to show you why. He says that everybody that does this is an abomination unto, the, unto God. Let's find out. What, let me ask you, what is an abomination? And that ain't no regular uh, Negro word. Black people don't use the word, bro, you're abominable. Get away from me. We don't do that. We don't say, hey, stop talking to me. You're an abomination. We don't do that. We don't even know what the word means, do we? What does abomin abomination mean? We're going to see. Let's see. Yeah, come on, come on, read that. This is, what, this is the definition of the word abomination. Abomination, a thing that causes disgust or hatred. God says an abomination is something that's disgusting and is hateful. Now watch this. Read. Sirach chapter 15 verse 13. You see how we don't answer nothing for ourselves? We let the Bible do all the talking. We ain't up here to try to tell you what's in our minds. Because that is what has happened to us in this world. Right. right. Somebody has come and planted, what, planted their thoughts in our minds and we automatically have been operating off of that for 400 years. We're trying to give you the mind of God. That's why we don't we don't answer these things ourselves. We, find, we see the problem and we give you the solution from the mouth of God. Read. The Lord hated all abomination. It says God hated, God hated, like the definition said, all abomination. Come on. And they that fear God. And if you fear God, do y'all fear God? Do you fear God? Yes, we should fear God. The lack, the lack of fear is why this happened to us. Right. Because our, our ancestors, they didn't have no fear. Yeah. And because they didn't have fear, now we're in a, a country still serving as slaves today. Right. You might say, well, you're not a slave. You're damn right I'm a slave. If I, you, work, you work a job? You, you like that job? Hell no. Because if you could stay home, guess what you would do? You would stay home. Right. So guess what that means? You're still a slave. Read on. 
And they that fear God. And if you fear God, love it not. You don't love the abomination. Meaning now that you hear the word of God, you're like, okay, I'm a change. I have a chance at the kingdom of heaven and repentance. So I'm going to change my ways. Meaning I'm going to stop wearing pants and I'm going to put on a dress. Right. Out. Pull up the pull up the sisters' marriages and you know what I'm saying the sisters in the congregation. So because our people, when we think of dress, we think of that grandma looking dress. You don't know you could be fly in a dress. Did you know that? You could be fly in a dress, expressing your royal character that the God that God gave you. Because that's what you're supposed to do as the man. You ain't supposed to be right here with your pants sagging. Why these little dudes today? They sag their pants, but they got on a belt. You see that? That's royalty right there. Remember, I read it, we read in Peter that you are a royal priesthood. That's what we're supposed to look like. Right. Guess what? That's what our family look like now. We were once on the opposite side of everything that we're saying, but that's what we look like right now. We're taking back what God gave us. That's right. We're not accepting what society has given us. We're taking back what God gave us from the beginning. But in order to do that, we gotta start keeping the commandments. So now, what are you supposed to wear, sis? A dress, and you can be beautiful in a dress. You can be beautiful in a dress. Watch this. If if, if, if y'all y'all say y'all just proving each other, right? Your friends right now. If it gets serious, I'm gonna show you something. If it gets serious, y'all fall deeply in love, and he decides, you know what? I love the sister. I'm gonna do what's right. I'm gonna marry the sister before I sleep with her. Right. You know you're supposed to do that, right? If you don't, you make her a whore. Do not sleep with her. Until you understand, all right, I'm, I'm gonna marry the sister. Because if right. not, I'm gonna read it. You make her a whore. We should not do that. You understand? We cannot do that to our sister. That's why we got so many single parent households out here right now. Right. We got so many gangsters on the street that were raised up with just a mother and no father. Right. We gotta stop that. It stops right here. That's right. right. If you love the sister, you will marry her. Right. Now, on the day that he proposed to you, and you will say yes, on the day that you plan to get married, what you gonna wear? <laughs> Wake up. Oh, mm -hmm. Bring it out. Dude. What you gonna wear on that day? Why? Cause you wanna feel good. Right. You wanna look you, you know you're gonna look good. You're gonna be royalty that day. Ain't nobody can't tell you nothing, right? right. You should feel like that every single day. Is calling you to do he's calling you to feel like that every single day when you marry a righteous man who understand god keeping god's commandments you're gonna feel like that every single day you're gonna have no problem going in there finding you a nice dress put some fringes on it when you step out can't nobody say oh you think you royalty no i know i'm royalty that's, that's, right. Right. that's the way it gotta be this is how we change our mindset we gotta come, we gotta fall off of what America's giving us. They've given us a bunch of garbage and we sat right there at it like pigs and just ate it all up. Right. It's time to give it all back. Right. Give back their holidays. Give back the 4th of July. Give back Christmas. Father. Give back Thanksgiving. Father. Give back all of these abominable holidays that they've given us in this country and let's go back to keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Celebrating the yeah. laws that God gave us. Give it Leviticus chapter 23, watch this. I bet you you didn't even know you had this many high holy days to keep. How many days you get to celebrate Christmas? Once a year. One time a year. One time. You know, God gives us a holiday that we celebrate for seven days. Wake them up. Seven days straight you can give gifts. Seven whole days. Did you know that? No, because they ain't teaching us this in society. You know what they're teaching us? You're a bunch of thugs. You're a bunch of gangsters, sluts, uh, uh, sluts and whores. You can be rappers. You know, that's that's your career. Go after rapping. Be a damn basketball player. Why don't you play football? Why don't you do the, entertain us, nigger? Just entertain us. Be of be some entertainment. Don't worry. I'll give you a hundred million a year. Just don't become an Israelite. Why do you think they came at Kyrie? Why do you think they came at Kanye West? Why do you think they came at them? Because they have influence. And if they influence the people with this knowledge right here that they are the Israelites, they could cause millions of people to repent. Just like that. So they're not gonna be the ones that wake our people up. You know who's gonna be the ones that wake our people up? You're looking at them. Right, right. It gotta be you, bro. 
It got to be us that come to the street corners to wake our people up. Right. They're not going to allow Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, to, go, to come out here and speak what we're speaking. Right. They're not going to, what's the name, uh, Nick, Cannon. Yeah, Nick Cannon. They're not going to allow Nick, you know, Nick Cannon tried it. You know what you saw what they made him do? They shut him down immediately and made him go sit with a fake Jewish rabbi to teach him about our history. Right. Oh. Damn liars. They have taken everything from us and they're going to spend billions upon billions upon billions to keep the one secret that's going to destroy the whole earth. And that secret is, you are the real Jews. That's you right. are the real children of Israel. That's yeah. the biggest kept secret on the planet earth. Right. Why you think they got to come up with movies every two years like Passion of Christ, the, sons of, the Son of God? These movies are designed to keep us in the stupor and not understand that Jesus Christ ain't no damn white man. The Bible don't describe Jesus Christ looking like this. It describes him looking like you, with hair on his head and hair on his face. You look like Jesus Christ. You look like Jesus Christ. Right. That's what the Bible said. Right. But it's, give me, I'm gonna show you something. Give me uh, Maccabees 3, 48. Bring it up. First Maccabees 3, 48. I, I, I just expound on it. The Bible tell you what they really did. Watch this. 3, 40, 3 48, yes, sir, read. 48. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Yeah. And they opened the book of the law. What is the book of the law? The Bible. The Bible is the book of the law. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. We get the laws from this. In society today, they call it the what? Judicial system. Yeah. They call it, they judge us by the what? Judicial system. Well, guess what the guess what the root word of judicial is? Break it out. Break it out. What is this? Say it again, sis. Break it out. The root word of judicial is Jew. Right. Right. They get their laws from the book of the Jews. That's right. Why you think they lock you up? And look, they gonna lock your ass up if you steal. But they stole the whole damn uh, uh, continent of America. Wake them up. Right. They gonna lock you up if you kill. But they killed hundreds of millions of Indians. They right. killed over 200 million of us. Our, our ancestors' bodies are floating in the Atlantic uh, Ocean right now. Right. But they're going to lock you up if you kill. Right. They get their laws from us. That's why they call it the judicial system. Read it again. And laid open the book of the law. So they got our book. They laid open the book of the law and they did what? Where is the heathen? The who? The heathen! God calls the other nations, every nation outside of the nation of Israel, God calls them the heathen. That man right there from the cross street, he is a heathen. That's see, right. see, you can't look at them and have pity on them because they look poor. You know how many uh, white men put on, they, they get up in the morning and put uh, makeup on and look fake and they go out there with a sign? Right. They be going home with two, three thousand dollars? You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. They have mastered the art of deception. Yeah. He was a sinner from the beginning, and he gonna die a sinner. That's, That's right. right. They laid open the book of the law. Come on. Where is the heathen? The heathen, that one right there, come on. Had oh, sought to break the likeness of their images. What they did? They went in the book and they did what? Paint the likeness of their images. They went in the book and they painted the likeness of their image. Now let's see if this is true. Who do the world say this right here is? He's a dis he he, he want to disturb the camp. Y'all don't pay him no attention. Well, Only listen to the words coming out of this microphone. Right. I'm gonna get. I don't worry. I'm gonna throw darts at him all day long because God sent me to do it. Right. Right. Who is this? Who does the world say this is? They say the, the world say that. Now let's see what the Bible. Let's see what the book of the Jews say. Come Bring on. It out. Revelation chapter one verse one. On. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation. What is the root word in the book of Revelation? What is the root word of Revelation? The root word of Revelation is to reveal. Stay right here, Scoff. I want to reveal your lie. I want to reveal your lie. The root word in Revelation is reveal. Why does Christ need to be revealed? Wake him up. Because somebody covered him up with this image right here. Somebody covered him up. That guy right there and his ancestors. They covered the truth up and painted a damn lie. They looked at our book and they repainted it because here's what the Bible says. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Christ had white and woolly hair, meaning the hairs on his head and the hairs on his face were white like wool. Right. That's describing a texture and a color. Like this brother right here, my older brother right here. I can see his beard. I can see, what color is his beard? It's white. 
Thank you, the the, yes, sir. The Bible says Christ had hair on his head and hair on his face, and it was what? White like wool. Now, who has woolly hair? Jermaine, I'm, I'm gonna get with you. I got your phone number. I can call you. Who has white woolly hair? White and woolly hair. No. Who has woolly textured hair? Yeah. Yeah. Look at your look, under your under your under your hat. Yeah, we do. That's wool. Yes, sir. On your head is wool. That on your face is wool. Right. Christ had the same thing. It was white. Right. Come on. Right. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine in moderation. What was his first miracle? He turned water into wine. What they do with the wine? Pour it out. They drink it. When you drink wine, what color the whites in your eyes turn? Red. Yeah, yes, Come on. And his feet. Now I can see your feet, sis. Your feet is roughly the same color as your, your, your legs and your arms and your face. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Now it says Jesus Christ. We're looking at his feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is it? Brown, just right. like the dust of the ground. Right, right. It says his feet was like unto fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, when you take that brass that's already brown and you burn it, what color does it turn? What? Black. black. That's right. Blickety black. Meaning Christ was a very Dark skinned man. That's right. So, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this, bro? Wake him up. I'm going to tell you who it is. His name is Cesra Borgia. Yes. His name is Cesra Borgia. Michelangelo painted him during what is called the Dark Ages. Meaning, after they conquered us. After they conquered us during the Byzantine Empire and over other empires of the earth. They conquered us and took rulership. While we were in servitude, guess what they did? They took our images and they repainted everything white. Right. As yeah. best as they yeah. could. That's why when you go into the the the, uh, the catacombs and the pyramids in Egypt, it looks as though those paintings are white. Well, guess who was in slavery in Egypt? Us. Yeah. So when we painted those images, what color were they? Black, they look like us. Right. But no, the white man said, you know what? <sighs> we don't let them niggas go. We have to excavate all of this. And we have to go in here and repaint everything as best as we could. Change history. Go in the book, find all of their history, change, wipe everything out. It's called iconoclasm. Right. Right. Whitewashing is what is what they're doing. They're whitewashing our history. History is important. That's why we need them to keep them statues up when they had us in slavery. To remind our children, this is what they did to you. This is what you're fighting against. Because they have changed our Lord and Savior's image into the so-called white man. This weak, docile, uh, weak, uh, pedophile, damn, feminine. give me some more names. Feminine. Rapist, feminist. That's, that's what this man did. Slept with anything that would open his legs. But they're going to give us that as, our, as Jesus Christ. Bring it out. I'm going to show you who he really is. Read that. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. It says that it had, they had power to give life to the image of the beast. How did they give this image of the beast power? I named a few minutes ago. Think about it. How did they give this image power? Think about it. Really think about it. First, they gave you the image. They, go and they, they went to the, the so-called Indians and said, so you gonna serve this cross and he's the, this is gonna serve this master or we gonna put you to death and you're gonna die. That was one angle of power that they used against us. Right For years and years and years, they used just the image. Now what do they use? Think about it. What do they use now to control our minds? The media, the media, the media. you got it sis, and you, you got it. Read it again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. You ain't got no dumb sister right there. It says he had power to give life to the image of the beast. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak. How does that image speak today? It speaks on media. Right. It speaks on television. Right. It speaks on, as Charleston Hel uh, Heston uh, 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 in the movie, uh, what's it called? The oh, Ten Commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It speaks as the passion of Christ. Right. It speaks as the Son of God movie. Right. It speaks in these different angles that they've used against our people to push him as the savior of the world. That's, right. That's how this image speaks in our media. Come on. 
and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Anybody that did not worship this image of the beast was put to death. But now today is a new day. It's a new day. We can read now. We understand now. So what must we do? We must repent. We must change. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 